Hey guys, this is an Iseo padlock that I bought when I was in Africa last week down in Windhoek in Namibia. And I stumbled onto a locksmith store and this was the only non-Chinese one that he had. I think these are made I think these are made in Italy or perhaps in Spain. I bought it because it has a replaceable core, not because I thought it was very high security. The keys do say made in Italy. And uh, pretty good tolerances. It's a five pin, not too great. And I thought this might be a good example of hard exterior but with a soft, gooey center. So something maybe we could improve, make a little bit better. So it works beautifully. And let's see if we can pick it. And I'm going to use bottom of the keyway because this is the Y1 style. Make sure that's not bound up on the body. And then I'm going to use a standard Peterson hook. So all the way to the rear. A little bit of tension. And let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Find a binder. Come on, baby. It's like pin 3 was a binder. We got a little bit of a false set there. Now let's start looking for some feedback. That's the first step to success. It's like pin 1 giving me some feedback. Okay, we got our false set, so he's set. Let's see who's next. This is like pin 3, giving me some feedback. So it feels like this thing might be full of spools. Good, we got our fault set back. Should have two left. Start in the front. Make sure everybody's still in their seat. Feels like they are. I'm on pin 5. He's giving me a little bit of feedback. He's a little giving me a little trouble there. Okay, he's set. Let's see what we got next. Feels like pin three again might have popped out. Let's double check everybody in the front. Okay. See if I can get on him. Don't want to get in too much of a rush here. Alright, feels like three popped out. Let me get another pick. I just can't quite get the depth. I'm going to go to a Peterson gem just to give me a little more upward reach there. Double check. Can't quite get on him. A little bit tricky to get on there. There we go. There we go. It's a tough pick. Not, not that tough, just a little bit of lack of feel. Just takes a little bit of time to find those uh, security pins. They're all security pins in this one, Pierce. Um, let's see what we can do to make this better. It has a really nice exterior. It's a tough lock. It'd be hard to get into uh, if it weren't for that soft vanilla center. So I was digging through my haven't yet been picked box and I found this lock. Now I've already cut it in half. It was a full size Euro cylinder and it is also made by Iseo. Except this one's not quite as easy to pick as that one. This is a pretty complex dimple lock. They call this the R8 and you can see it's not only got a lot of dimples but it also has counter dimples on the other side. So you have upper and lower pins as well as side pins. So I have not yet been able to pick this. And I was just thinking if we can figure out a way to retrofit this lock to this body, we would have one heck of a tough lock. Let's see if we can't do that. 
Okay, I've removed the core from the lock body, and right away I see we've got a couple of problems. Uh, both of them are solvable, not that difficult, but they're both in the locked position. On the right is the Azeo 5 pin, on the left, of course, is the R8, which we want to use. When it's in the locked position, you'll notice that there's a cutout that fits the actuator oriented going this way. But on the R8, that same groove, it's, it's correct dimensions and everything, but unfortunately it's oriented vertically. It's not going to work for us. It's going to uh, be opposite. So what I need to do first of all, we need to cut a groove right through here that's identical to this one. And we'll do that on the milling machine. The next thing we need to do, we notice we have a threaded hole here. Once we get that groove and the actuator lined up, we'll mark the hole, we'll drill it, we'll tap it, and we'll, uh, for the screw, and then it'll go into the body. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Okay, we got the groove cut properly, sprite width seems to fit okay, and we got the hole drilled and threaded. Uh, I think we're ready. Let's put this thing back together and see if it's going to work. Alright, we've got it all locked back together. We got that Iseo R8 cylinder plugged into there. Everything seems to work perfectly. Now, if only I owned something valuable enough to justify using this lock. Anyway, everybody stay safe, stay legal.